stage striking process. I didn't see who won the rock, paper, scissors, but. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. It's looking like it's gonna go down to Yoshi's or FOD. We'll see. Nope, final destination. Ready? And, and tops with the John before he even gets it once. He says, "Why am I green?" As if he's not responsible for picking his own character. Do you all know Green Fox is bottom tier? <laughs> Enough to start. So we actually we saw Samus. We saw Green Samus play the match before. I have no idea how Satchel Quest Samus compares, but I will say that Satchel Quest is a more proven player, higher up on the ranks. We're going to see some calculated edge guards, uh, and certainly some combos. I have no idea how his neutral is going to be, because Samus neutral is nothing like any other characters, and he's certainly not a Samus main. Nobody seems to know what he's doing. Yeah, he's doing well so far. And when was the last time we saw... Did we see Tops play against Moss? Uh... Yeah, I think we no, did. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I saw Tops play a Samus. No, I don't think Tops played a Samus. I think actually Moss. I think uh, Sachin played Moss. Like the shine. Samus yeah. won. Is shining Samus like missiles and stuff off the wall? I, I think it's very good. I, I think Samus is one of the characters where shine is very useful as a reflector, not just a melee move. And there, there's the melee move. <laughs> Tops making use of both. One thing about F uh, Final Destination is that Samus does not have really good up B escape, so if Fox can get out of the up B early, you can often punish Samus pretty easily. Whereas if Samus has platforms to land on, she can get out of the lag much sooner. Shine Clank. No one gets hurt. Cheeky little neutral B by Sash Request to cover the high side B, but tops with good spacing on sweet spots that. And now he's back in the game. Up smash gives him the stock lead. Lovely combo on Samus there. 52%. It's more than you can ask for. And we got Anderson rolling up into the venue. You know, Top seems to have uh, figured this, this match out. And that's the only reason that Sachin played Samus right there. You saw the super wave dash. He's yeah, going to lose the match, but he's going to go down in style. We may have seen a couple of daughter dashes before. Um, Did he do some daughter dashes? Yeah, just in neutral. And yet he's still losing. It's just incredible how that works. <laughs> and misses two easy crash and down smash opportunities. Instead, he up smashes. Which is bizarre because he should be holding down on every stick in his control. That is, in fact, the uh, second... Up smash we've seen from Satchin. Surely not on purpose. One assumes. Good ledge pressure by Topological Space, aka Scott. And great laser. Scott, one of the few foxes at Hopkins that knows how to use his laser most of the time. Strange how but it works because Satchin does not play this character. Ooh. I was so close to working. Sachin scratching his head like, what went wrong? Huh. You can just hit the plus next to... Yeah, I'm just looking for the mouse. Isn't it the fastest mouse you've ever had? Yeah, this is insane. It's like F-Zero mouse. Switch the fast mouse, And I will say this about Sashin, he plays random characters every tournament, but he sticks to that character. And now he's deciding. He does switch. Okay. And we all know Sashin was going to switch no matter what Andrew said. Alright. We know the truth there. We got the Falco quest. The one or two stood for top tier or second tier, that's Falco or Fox. Now, Falco is the counter pick against tops. Um, in the uh, Falco Fox matchup, Tops loses. That's uh, how it's generally put. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, he hates this. I'll have to play Falco today then. <laughs> What's up? Are you going to get us new guys? Yep. Yeah. Sign up for Arcadian 3 yet? 
we need to do the actual draft. Sachin trying to bait him out with the wave, wave lands. Tops just catches the last wave lands. Now, Sachin's been playing Falco a lot this semester. It's a good character, I won't lie. And Sachin has some nasty combos with it. Love that down tilt guard uses the slope of Yoshi's to his advantage. And takes a stock lead for the first time in the set. Well, except for last stock game, last game stock one. So this is much like game one so far. <laughs> except different characters in different stages. Oh, yeah. But, <laughs> but the, yes. Uh, you know, the narrative of the match. Sure, is sure. Very similar. Ooh, nice up the screen. Um, very practical oh. up tilt by Tops. He's trying to cover the side B on stage. And if you don't hit the side B, it's fine because you're still in a good position to edge guard. So, love that choice. And Sachin just happened to kill himself. Great Nair. Oh, beautiful stuff. Let's get the shine. Oh, he's just going to back here and we're on the ledge. And Sachin's starting to complain during the match. Never a good sign. I mean, that was. Uh, he, he did kind of get screwed by Randall there. It's a legit complaint. Part of the game. Complaint after the game. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, like. <laughs> Tries to get a ridiculous shine, barely misses it. And this should be this, the kill. Randall not quite in the right position. Alright, uh, 2 to 1. He's gonna take some solid combos here. Misses the pillar. Scott has been excellent with his edge guards the whole game. Like, he misses this one, but solid follow ups. He keeps stage position and. and oh! Uh huh. Alright. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that's what we call giving up, folks. That's the Kuravia classic. What? <laughs> 2 0. 